Welcome to Vancouver Business Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I'm Roger Killen, the organizer. This evening, Isabel Mercier is training us on how to grow our businesses by serving, not selling. Isabel, is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions so that we can get to know you a little better? Sure. All right. First question is, what makes you different from other business growth experts? Well, you know, we have a three-prong approach uh, at LeapZone, and what makes us different is that we look at the business under the hood from a, a, um, a perspective of branding, marketing, and business architecture. So we're basically uh, a business coach agency, a branding agency, and a marketing agency all roll into one. So it allows us to really look under the hood of a company and really look at what are the opportunities, what are the challenges, and normally that would be three different people or three different companies. And here with us, you have that all under one roof, which is what makes us uh, different. Great. It sounds like a very efficient, effective process. That is correct. <laughs> so I have one more skill testing question for you. Shoot. Uh, and it, it's going to ask you to roll back the clock. Now, now that you know what you know, what advice would you give to your 25-year-old self? There's so much I would tell, I would give advice to my 25-year-old self, but one of them would be to know, because I'm such a responsible girl and an accountable girl, always been, always will, I would tell myself, the advice would be, play more every day despite of how busy you are. And Roger, I'm still working on that one, but I would tell myself that earlier on to my life so I would have a longer runway of practice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that is very solid advice that I wish I had received from you way back in the day. Yeah. Uh, audience members, if you have any questions, please type them into the chat. And when I detect that Isabel is going through a, a little uh, transition in her talk, I will pose your questions to her. The video recording of Isabel's training session will be made uh, public uh, later this evening, unless I fall asleep on my keyboard, in which case it'll be tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure we can get it done tonight. Uh -huh. Isabel, are you ready to rock the stage? As you know, Roger, I was born ready. Well, then, why don't you just take it away and wow us? Off no problem. Go. Here we go. All right. Well, I, first of all, I'm happy to be here. I'm always happy to be at one of your events, uh, Roger. You're just uh, golden. Um, and tonight is, today is all about helpfulness is the new hustle. And we're going to talk about how to rapidly grow your business, your impact, and your influence by serving, not selling. And of course, by that, I don't mean don't sell. I mean, sell more, but by serving. So, and, and from that token, if you're someone who wants more clients, which of course you are here and you're listening to this, so obviously you do want more clients, but if you're someone that hates selling, then welcome to a new era that will most likely have you love this new era and that you're going to thrive in. And that era is the era of helpfulness. And one of my question is, is your marketing so helpful that people would happily pay for it? As you were talking about a masterclass or a webinar earlier, right? Is your marketing so helpful that people would happily pay for it? And I wholeheartedly believe and have seen undeniable proof that the key to breaking through the noise isn't being louder, it's becoming profoundly helpful and profoundly relevant. Um, I believe that operating from a true place of generosity, a true place of helpfulness is what your ideal clients resonate with and are attracted to. Because, you know, let's face it, if you sell something, you'll make a customer today, right? But if you help and delight someone, you'll earn a customer for life. Because Help beats hype every time. 
every time. And I'm sure that you would agree that we are right now in the middle of a whole lot of uncertainty. And in uncertainty, oh yes, help beats hype, period. Now, are uncertain times scary? Well, you bet they are. You know, I don't know anybody who gets up in the morning and goes, I love uncertainty times, right? I love that. I eat uncertain times for breakfast. It's so much fun. No, I don't know anybody who, who says that. But here's the thing. In every problem, therein lies the next solution. And from the same token, in every solution, therein lies the next problem. This time, right now, the time that we're in, will define what kind of entrepreneur you are and what kind of entrepreneur you want to become. You know, being an entrepreneur comes with a lot of responsibilities. You know, entrepreneurs, what are we? We are problem solvers. Everything on this planet that's been created was created out of necessity to solve a problem. Your prospects, your clients, they need, they want your help now actually more than ever. This, I believe, is the single greatest opportunity since electricity, in my opinion, and I might be exaggerating, but I don't think so. And if you look at past, if you look past the old ways of marketing, and if you look past the old ways of customer service, what you'll find is a once in a lifetime opportunity to massively propel your business forward in ways that were unthinkable, actually even just six months ago. The key to breaking through customer cynicism and competitor messaging, all the clutter online is not shouting louder, it's becoming truly relevant and massively helpful. Helpfulness is the new hustle and my hope is for our time together to inspire you to become an entrepreneur that lives, that breathes, that operates to make people's lives better by serving rather than by selling. Now, I'm known as the Simon Cal of branding. I'm known as And I choose to see, is there anything, is there uh, anything, do you still see me? Because I saw a flash. And we see you, uh, see you, you're back now. I'm back. Okay. Cause suddenly it disappeared and I don't know why. So there you go. <laughs> and your, and your audio has just uh, gone up a few notches. Uh, yeah. Isabel, few you're, you're, you're fine. We can turn down our audio, but you sound good. So uh, continue. Okay, perfect. I'll just. I'll just tweak a bit here. So where was I? I don't remember. Oh yeah, the Simon Cal of branding, Simon Cal of positioning and of business growth. And you know, for those of you who know Simon Cal, this might not be a compliment, but I choose to see this as a huge compliment because this guy sure knows how to spot and catapult talent forward for sure. I am just, however, a little tad more fashionable than this guy. Now, in the past 25 years, I've created a seven-figure branding agency right out of my teens, a seven-figure coaching business. I've produced and hosted the number one branding online TV show called Leap TV. I've worked with small, local, inspiring clients, and I've also worked with large, iconic brands. I won Entrepreneur of the Year, and I'm one of North America's top business influencers. I also have two TEDx talks that are nearing 3 million views. One of them is with Roger. And I'm not saying this to have a nice tap on my back, by no means. I'm telling you this because I have been through my fair share of reinvention and reposition to become and stay the first, the best, or the only in my 25 years in business. And I've done that and my team and I have done that successfully with hundreds of entrepreneurs and thought leaders around the world to fulfill truly my quest and my company's quest to make life better for others, for ourselves, by being of service, right? By being of utmost service, because being of service, one, it feels amazing. And two, it gets people talking. It gets people talking. And that's the key here, word of mouth, right? If you wanna grow your business with more ease, get people talking about you. The easiest way to grow a business in any economy 
is for your customers to grow it with you. But that of course only occurs if you deliver a service or a product that people want and a customer experience that's worth talking about. Word of mouth influences more than 50% of all purchases on the planet, yet we take that golden, golden fact for granted every day. We assume that our customers will talk about us, but they won't unless you give them something to talk about. HelloFresh, for example, HelloFresh leverages word of mouth beautifully with their sharing is caring. HelloFresh is a food box, ingredients that are already purchased, all bundled in a beautiful recipe where you just have to cook it yourself, right? They, they actually really leverage this, this concept beautifully. Pop chips, for those of you who love chips like I do, Pop chips does the same. They know that having a happy customer advocate, right, for the goodness of their products is way more effective than any other marketing strategies when you want to grow and grow fast, that is. I was raised um, in a hairdresser salon and my mom absolutely rocked it. This woman lived to surprise and delight her customers. She was unbeatable for customer service. And as a result, she constantly had a three month waiting list. And I'm telling you, we lived in a village of about 2000 people, including flies in the summer. This is how, how small that was. So to have a three month waiting list there, that was just unheard of. And while working with her, here's what I learned. I learned to listen to the unsaid. Right? People say a lot in between words with their energy, their body language. I learned to always look for ways to wow and delight. I learned to serve with love, attention, and intention. Remembering that Jane loves peppermint tea with one ice cube in it, or John, you know, loves 10 seconds of cold water rinse after his shampoo. I learned that the little things make a huge difference. And I remember being about nine years old and I was designing new hairstyles and massaging people's scalps and hands to make waiting more fun, you know, waiting more relaxing instead of frustrating. Coming to our salon was a treat that people craved. It was fun, it was pampering, it was pure fuel for the soul. And every day I remember my mom would say, Isabel, who will you make life better for today? And that's what I want to double click on with you today. So on the agenda, you'll learn why the fight for attention is getting more difficult every day and why most communication efforts fail. You'll discover a threesome, no, get your head out of, out of the gutter, not that kind of threesome. You'll discover a threesome that's going to change your life and your business forever. And you're gonna learn cost-effective marketing ideas that's designed, that are designed to help you build trust by making life better. And I will also share a few free resources to help you implement what you learned today, because as we all know, knowing something is one thing, implementing it is what truly gets results. And if, of course, if you have any questions, just put them in the chat and I'll be happy to answer them throughout or at the end here. Now, can you resolve algebra by chewing bubble gum? No, of course not, right? Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> that would have helped me greatly in school. Um, yet, truly though, that's what me, most people are doing when it comes to their marketing. Most business owners do not know what they stand for. They do not know what their brand stands for. They do not know what their clients and prospects need and want the most. And most business owners do not know what makes them different and most of all, how to effectively communicate that difference. And let me tell you, if you don't know what makes you different, how can you expect your clients and prospects to find you, one, and two, choose you? Eight billion video views daily on Facebook from 5,500, from 550 million users. That's a whole lot of video views. A hundred billion Google search per month, 70 billion blog posts published every month on WordPress alone, and 4 billion people using social media every single day. That is why being louder isn't the answer. 
And there are millions of business with long runways. And what I mean by that is they have a hell of a lot more money to invest in marketing than you do, which makes their runway much longer than yours. You can't beat them at that game. You can't run outrun them uh, on their own highway. That's very difficult and very costly. But what you can do is take a trip on a different highway. What those stats tell me is that there's a hell of a lot of people that are looking for solutions, looking for the next thing that will help them move the needle forward. And by the way, sending one email to sell your solution is not an effective conversion strategy at all. So instead of trying to sell something through one email, be more relevant and extremely helpful. Now, of course, having said that, being relevant and helpful is a lot easier when you first know and own what you stand for, as I just said, right? Very, very important. And being clear about what business you're in, right? What about how, what you want to be known for? Because that should be driving the driving force behind all of your marketing and all of your communications. Most people think that branding is a logo in a website. And, you know, that's, of course, a logo in a website or important to a brand. But branding is so much more than that. You know, branding is how people feel when they buy your product or service. Branding is how people feel when they experience the experience that you provide. Because people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. People don't buy coaching. They buy the transformation of coaching. See, brands are defined by people and emotions, no longer by companies and markets. Knowing what your brand stands for, it means having a clear brand DNA, right? It's a clear brand foundation. And we call that at, at, uh, at Leapzone, we call that a brand DNA. And there are 10 key ingredients to a brand DNA. And what a brand DNA is, is the foundation that makes you you, right? It's it's designed to unleash your genius in ways that resonate with your ideal clients. And there are, as I said, 10 key ingredients to having a clear brand DNA, but I'm going to share four with you. And these four are a great start. The first one is your internal mission. This is how you want to leave people feeling. I don't care for mission statements. Actually, mission statement is a swear word that leaves on. An internal mission is how you want to leave people feeling. At Leap Zone, we want to leave people feeling on fire and unstoppable. On fire and unstoppable. And everything we do aligns with that. And that's the start to a brand foundation. The second ingredient is your brand promise. This is your measurable accountability, right? It's the one thing that you're going to deliver come rain or shine. As an example, at Leap Zone, we want to, we promise clarity, pivotal shifts, and momentum. And we deliver that come rain or shine. That happens to be the three things that small business owners need and want the most. So internal mission, brand promise. The third one is your X factor. It's the things that make you irresistible, right? It's the tipping point that will get people to go, ah, where have you been all my life? Our X factor, as I said at the very beginning of this call, of this uh, of, of tonight, is that we are a branding, marketing, and coaching agency, all under one roof. Which means that when clients work with us, they get to work on all aspects of their business, outcome, overcome, right? That leads to growth and fulfillment, and that totally sets us apart. And the fourth ingredient is your interrupter. That is your provocative brand stand. It's the thing that divides the room. It's the thing that gets people to go, I believe in what she's saying or she's on crack. Either way, that's what you want. You want either way. You do not want gray. You don't want the middle zone. Our interrupter, one of our interrupter is be massively relevant or help and helpful or die. That's pretty provocative. It's pretty true as well. Your interrupter alone, by the way, can give you months of content and inspiration. Now, 
what I want is I want to introduce you to now the threesome of awesome that will change uh, your life and your business forever. And we call that the Leap Zone Helpfulness Pledge. And it's called the, the Impactful Three. And it comes with a warning. This pledge requires a hell of a lot of guts and courage. And it also brings huge rewards. It takes guts and courage to create amazingly helpful material and then give it all away for free in exchange for name and email. It takes guts and courage to put yourself out there and tell it like you see it. It takes guts and courage to trust that your people, your tribe of prospects and clients will reward you eventually with their attention and eventually with their business. And it takes a lot of guts and courage to go above and beyond the call of duty to make a real difference. And it's massively rewarding. Now, let's look at the first ingredient of the helpfulness pledge. And it's outshine. It's all about acts of kindness. Kindness makes a big difference. This is all about creating or highlighting acts of kindness and continually inspiring your customers and your prospects to share theirs. And to do that though, through your brand. So I wanna give you examples of that. FedEx is a good example with their made possible buy campaign. You know, they had a team member, they, they, their team members, they highlight their team members and they encourage them to be community heroes by doing random acts of kindness. And I, I'm pretty sure you might have heard this, but there's a FedEx driver one day that took the time out of his busy delivery day to shovel snow from a porch and a sidewalk of a woman who had recently lost her husband to cancer. And that was caught on her surveillance camera. Now, he didn't know that she lost her husband recently, but you know he knew that someone was there and that there was no way of getting in or out of this house. So, you know, acts of kindness didn't take him very long and it made a big difference. Um, now, what does that do overall, right? It brightens someone's day and better yet, it inspires others to do the same. It's kind of, it brings fire to it. And that news truly went viral and was highlighted in the news for months. Now, if you look at FedEx's internal mission, it's to leave people feeling cared for. And I think that they do that on a regular basis pretty well. Do, are they perfect as a company? No. Do they make mistakes? Yes. Do they vow and dedicate a lot of their time at acts of kindness? Yes. The second example is us at Leap Zone. We have a campaign called Love Matters, right? So Love Matters is where everyone on our team is responsible to gift a coaching session or an equine guided transformation, transformation session to someone who needs it but can't afford it. And we also have a thing for leaving Margarita's book or Margarita's book on a, on a park bench somewhere or in a store somewhere for free or a five or $10 bill in random places. Uh, like in a book of chapters or when I try a pair of jeans, I like to leave a, a little surprise and delight in the back pocket. What does that do? Again, it delights. It delights someone. It actually makes someone's day. Ritz Carlton. Ritz Carlton, they have the going above and beyond call of duty. Man, these people, they go, they truly go above and beyond. They turned a lost teddy bear into a viral sensation. And I'm sure that you've heard about this. Years ago, a little kid left his teddy bear at the, forgot his teddy bear at the hotel. And uh, of course the parents figured it out in the flight and the kid was uh, all, all bent out of shape. And what they did is they took pictures of the teddy bear enjoying a longer vacation and, you know, being eating at the restaurant by the pool and getting some sunshine. And, and then they would email the little, the parents and the little boy to actually let them know that the teddy bear is on this way, on his way back to him, but he just had a little bit more vacation in him, right? What does that do? It creates a customer for absolute life. Did it take more time to do this? Yeah, a little bit. Did it go a long way? Absolutely. Now Ritz's internal mission is to leave people feeling like family. And I think that they did that 
here really well. Now, my question to you is, how do you want to leave people feeling? And what will you implement in your business today to deliver that feeling? Because a brand that shines with kindness is a brand that makes life better. And a brand that makes life better gets rewarded with the satisfaction of contribution and a whole lot of attention from media and, of course, from ideal clients. So make a list of at least 12 acts of kindness that aligns with your brand foundation and implement just one. It doesn't take a million, right? It just takes one to make a, a big difference. It will make you feel great and it'll make people talking about you. So that was outshine. So the second ingredient of, the, of our helpfulness pledge is out teach. As I said earlier, in every problem, therein lies the next solution. And in every solution, therein lies the next problem. Be a brand that contributes in sharing and teaching what you know. I know that you're good at what you do because you wouldn't be here. Share that brilliance freely, right? Sharing is caring in my, in my opinion. And caring creates trust and trust turns prospects into customers and customers into loyal fan. So I'm going to give you some examples and ideas of, um, of out teaching. Number one, Dunk. Dunk is a swimming pool company and they have a thing called swimmingly good reading. What Dunk has done during the crash of 2009, because, you know, as you can imagine, if you can't put food on the table, the likelihood of you buying a swimming pool for your backyard, pretty slim. What they did is they answered every single question that they've ever seen or found online that was pool related. They went from certain death to being the most trusted pool company in North America. All they did is decided to be helpful and educate their clients and prospects about what to do, what not to do in a daily Q&A blog post. Dunk promises a healthy and happier backyard. That's their brand promise. Now, I don't know if some of you know Trello, an amazing project, uh, project management tool. Trello has their little educating mascot called Taco. I love Taco from Trello. I'm telling you, this company has, is super helpful in a super creative ways to share with us through their, their, um, their newsletter. And every sample, every, every example that they give on their newsletter is so potent. I don't read many newsletters, but when Taco shows up in my inbox, oh, you better believe it that I will read it. Why? Because there's going to be one thing in there that I'm going to learn that's going to actually get me to be more efficient, more proficient, and my team as well, more efficient at leading our projects. And literally not complicated to do. And their promise is an organized mind and workspace. And they have that through uh, their weekly easing. Now, Lead TV is one of our uh, endeavor, one of our um, initiative here at LeapZone. It's a branding and business growth show. And let me tell you, I invest a lot of time in sharing free, entertaining, and valuable strategies to help business owners be the first, the best, or the only. I have well over 70 Leap TV episodes and over 50 Leap Tools tutorials, all for free. Our promise at Leap Zone is we promise clarity, pivotal shifts, and momentum. And everything we produce delivers on that, it's even this very moment. McDonald's has a really good, now McDonald's is not my favorite restaurant of choice by no means, but they have a real food series that actually is all about saying it like it is. They address the good, the bad, and the ugly, and they win as a result of it. They have a whole campaign where, because a lot of people don't believe that the food is real, so they will have John, the potato maker, right, the potato harvester, actually be in, in the field going, hey, I got a tweet from Josie today, and Josie's wondering if the potatoes are real. I can tell you, I'm John, I'm standing in my field and potatoes are real, and I'm one of, the, of McDonald's top suppliers, for example. And so addressing issues and opportunities and addressing 
things that are uh, assumptions of your brand. That's actually a brilliant way of um, out teaching others. So what can you do to educate your prospects and clients? A Facebook Live weekly series, right? Your own podcast, better yet, appearing on other people's podcasts. So there's less work and more impact. Valuable weekly articles on LinkedIn, an evergreen webinar, a masterclass, an audio program, because a brand that educates freely and frequently is a brand that makes life better. And a brand that makes life better gets rewarded with the satisfaction of contribution and a whole lot of attention from ideal clients. I repeat this because it's important. All right, and last but certainly not least in the ingredients of the helpfulness pledge is outwit. Ooh, acts of brilliance. That's the smart way to be successful is to literally be massively valuable, right? Because once you're valuable, success has no choice but to reveal itself to you, like no choice. Success is a byproduct of being of value. And when you learn to leverage your customer's creativity, your customer's ingenuity and love for your brand, you win. So let's give examples of outwitting because that's an important one. GoPro does this very well. They leverage their customer's creativity exquisitely. They have highlights. They, they literally highlight the creative ways that their customer uses their products, right? The skateboarders, surfers, bikers. They all love to showcase their brilliance. And every time they do that, it's an ad for GoPro. Free, absolutely free. Now, GoPro's purpose is to help you capture life as you live it, share the experience and pass on the stoke. So when you, you have that as a purpose, right? Helping people pass on the stoke, of course you would leverage your customers and your customers love for what they do to speak on behalf of your brand because everybody loves to talk and share about themselves. But when you have that done through your brand, you win. Survivor. Man, Survivor does this really well. Survivor allows super fans to come up with and design challenges for the show. Imagine, imagine being a super fan and having a chance to be a part of the brilliance of this show. There's nothing more gratifying. And I remember a kid at some point, one of the years, I don't remember which year it was, but you know, he was 11 years old, had designed this whole obstacle course and he went to the show, the big, big finale at the end. And man, this kid was going to be a fan for life. His family, his entourage, his neck of the woods, his community, all in the name of love and fan base and loyalty for something. Simply Piano does this as well, really well. If you've ever been on YouTube, which of course you have, I would bet my house that you have seen many Simply Piano ads. The beauty is they don't talk about how good they are and how fast their methodology is to teach you. No, they have their customers' progress and wins right there in the video, right? It's actually separated week one, week two, week three, week four. And then you can see in four weeks the progress that you make, that you can make. So is that more potent than simply piano going, yeah, I have best methodology and we, we can help you do this and do that. That's good. But if you have 100,000 people showing you their progress within one to six weeks and actually be proud of that on video, that's, there's nothing that can beat that. Vimeo is also a great company that does, that leverages their super fan. They leverage their super fan to help with their customer support. How brilliant is that, right? What a great idea. It allows their super fan, right, to leverage their ability and their knowledge of the, of the tool to actually become support people. Very cost effective. It actually gives super fan a reason to be still even more involved with this brand. And it gets more support for clients for this company that actually is an amazing company to begin with. At Leap Zone, we created a flash mob in Gastown, Vancouver to promote our Build to Rock program. 
Roger was there, I believe, right? Because we want to leave people feeling on fire and unstoppable. And a talking head video would not have delivered that, in my opinion. It wasn't in alignment with our brand. Contests, case studies, challenges, flash mobs, all free and uber fun ways to outdo yourself and outwit your competitors. See, I never say uh, outdo your competitors. I always say outdo yourself, but outwit your competitors. And a brilliant brand that engages their clients and prospects is a brand that makes life better. And now you know by now that a brand that makes life better gets rewarded with the satisfaction of contribution and a whole lot of attention. Attention from media, attention from community, attention from other businesses, attention from people from all around the world. Outshine, outteach, outwit. The impactful three, the threesome of awesome. But this impactful three comes with a caveat. And the caveat is this. We all tell ourselves the exact same lie. Every single one of us here is guilty of it. And that lie is that our customers are too busy. They're too busy to visit the website. They're too busy to watch the masterclass. They're too busy to fill out the needs assessment form, which is all false. None of it is true. It's not about being too busy because when you give somebody the information that they want in the format that they prefer, when they need it, the time that's necessary to consume that information suddenly magically appears. How funny is that? Suddenly they have the time, right? So if your marketing isn't working like you want it to, it's not because your clients and prospects are too busy. It's that what you're giving them is not relevant or helpful enough. And it might be that the material is relevant and helpful enough, but the way that you're promoting it or talking about it isn't. That makes a big difference. There are a lot of best kept secret, right? Amazing people in the best kept secret closet because they don't know how to communicate their genius. Isabel, but you see when, yep. Do you have time for a question? I do. Is this the good time? Well, uh, yes. Since I've interrupted you, may as well. Why not? So Marty says, do you really want to be the one and only business? If that is the case, not having competition does not give you the tools that you need to know what to do to attract business. Well, that is, so the question is, does being the one and only, will this make you suffer? Is that, is that basically the question? Marty, would you like to unmute and clarify? You could say that, yes. Um, you need competition in order to know how to attract business, otherwise you have nothing to compare. Yeah, so I'm not saying that you're, you're never going to have competition. You can be the first, the one, or the only at something, but that doesn't mean you have no competition. It just means that you're better at something than your competitor, and you're also better communicating that difference than your competitor. So it doesn't mean that there's no competition. It just means you you outwit them with, with being different. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Good question, by the way. And truly, this is um, to, to, um, to get back on track here with, not on track because everything, every question is on track. But the point of what I was making here, which is still relevant with what we've just, the question is, is when people have a problem that is painful enough, they will do and pay anything to find a good solution. So if your product or service is positioned better than any other, or you're resonating more with someone than someone else, right? They, they resonate better with you. Your chance of making that, of converting this prospect into a client are inf infinitely greater. Right? Because when people have a problem that is painful enough, they will do and pay anything to find a solution. And I remember when I moved here on the island, I've never had a driveway before. I've never had land. So I never had an issue with driveway. 
I never knew that there was driveway people and paving people. And of course, I know that they're paved roads, but I never had that problem. So I never, it never came to my conscious consciousness. I moved here. We have a terribly windy, steep driveway that was gravel. It was a pain in my behind for many years. And it was such a pain enough that I had to do something about it. Now, had you said to me, Isabel, you're going to have to invest that amount of money in marketing or in coaching or in other things. I would have said, well, not in coaching because I truly believe in coaching and I spend invest a lot of money in coaching. But anything else, I would have said, you know what? I don't have the budget. But suddenly I found the budget because the problem was so big that I had to solve it. And suddenly between my house and Nanaimo, there was no less than five ads about pavements and, and you know, uh, concrete. I never saw them before. I said to Margarita, oh my God, look at all these ads of things we need. She's like, Isabel, they've always been there. You just never saw them because you never had that problem. And this, the truth. So the eyes suddenly are peeled open. The ears are peeled open when the problem is big enough. In fact, your prospects will buy. They will buy. The question is, will they buy you or will they buy someone else? That depends on how you're resonating. And that depends on the value that you bring on the table. And it depends on how much you outshine, outteach, and outwit. Another question. So, yeah, another question. Go ahead. This one is from Nancy. Hi, Isabel. You are so awesome. Thank you. Where do I start in order to create this sort of being a good steward in my business? I will give you that information in just a moment. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to give you some I'm going to give you some free tools that are going to help you walk you through and actually walk you through to do this and be able to implement this. So I will answer that in a moment if you're OK with that. No further. Um, question. Perfect. OK. So you have two choices, right? Be louder and risk death or out help and make life better. I mean, it's be louder is basically, in my opinion, a losing battle or become massively relevant and helpful and actually win. Because remember, at the beginning, what I said is if you sell something, you make a customer today. But if you help and delight someone, you earn a customer for life because help beats hype every time. So my point right now is this, when you're crystal clear about how you wanna leave people feeling, which is your internal mission, when you're crystal clear about what makes you accountable, right, which is your brand promise, when you're crystal clear about what makes you different, which is your X factor, the tipping point that gets people to go, where the hell have you been all my life? And when you're crystal clear about what makes you relevant and seen, which is your interrupter, right? Which is your room divider. And when you create marketing material that is so valuable that people would happily pay for it, what happens? The right people will buy what you offer, period. Now, that's also assuming, of course, that you know how to create and deliver irresistible offer. Roger said that at the beginning, I can have a lot of joint ventures mailing for him. And, but if he has educational based marketing training that doesn't have an irresistible offer, he will not sell, which of course he will because he knows how to create an irresistible offer. But again, all of what I shared will convert over time when you know how to deliver an irresistible offer that is designed to turn your prospects into clients. And, you know, when I think about when I was back as a kid, my mom was right then and she's still right today. Help beats hype every day and developing a growth strategy that makes life better and brings in ideal customers, however, does not happen by accident. It doesn't happen by just, you know, taking three minutes a day to be reactive. No, that happens by design. And it all starts with you getting the right strategies in place and the right support and mentorship to help you get it done and done well. So at the very beginning, 
I actually promised you to give you a few things, right? A few tools to connect with me and my team so that we can go deeper on what makes, what, what, what pivots to make, right? To take your business to the next level, no matter what's happening in the world. And the first one is my Get Paid Well for Your Genius free masterclass. And I guarantee you that it's chock full of value. And in there, I share the three major warning signs that your business is set up to fail in today's economy. And of course, I teach you how to fix that because how cruel would I be if I didn't do that? So I'm going to share that with you. And um, if you guys know, if any of you know Dan Locke, Dan Locke said about this very masterclass, he said, this masterclass training will change the way potential clients see you forever. And Dan is the millionaire mentor. So to actually have access to this free masterclass, go to leapzonestrategies.com slash get paid well to get free access. Now, the second thing is the opportunity to get on a clarity call to identify the number point, the number one point of leverage for you to increase your relevance, to increase your impact and your prospect to client conversion. And I can say this, Roger, with 100% confidence, my team and I, we are truly built for these times. You know, we're built to work with entrepreneurs and thought leaders who are obsessed about making life better for themselves, for their team, and for their clients. And of course, who want to do that in a simple, impactful, and differentiating way. And if that's you, right, and if you've connected with what I've shared today, which is, by the way, only 3% of what we do with and what we do for our clients, well, you've got everything to gain. You know, just fill out my needs assessment so that we can get on a call. It's a great opportunity to get to know each other and an opportunity for us to see if, of course, if, because we're not meant to help everybody, we're, we're meant to help certain people that are ready. So it's a great opportunity for us to see if and how we can help you grow your brand and your business and your team and your systems, and most importantly, your positioning. Because if your positioning is off uh, in the deep end, then your bank account will be off in the deep end as well. So for that, all you have to do is uh, go to leapzonestrategies.com slash rise. And once you filled it out, my business manager will connect with you to book a clarity call. And as you know, I've said this before, at LeapZone, we promise three things, right? Clarity, pivotal shifts, and momentum. And in order to deliver that, that's why we need to have a decent amount of upfront information about you, about your brand, and about your business so that we can quickly get to the root of your biggest needle movers, whether, 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 whether that's, oh yeah, that was hard to say for some, for some reason that word didn't want to come out of my mouth, <laughs> whether whether that's branding related, marketing related, or money making edge related. Now, if you're ready to grow and if you want to grow, which of course you do because you're here or you're watching this, adapting to the new normal that COVID is creating is absolutely key. And positioning yourself as the first, the best, or the only in the eyes of your ideal clients is no longer an option. It used to be an option. It used to be pretty forgiving. Not anymore. It is not an option anymore. It's the only way for you to hear, I would be a fool to work with anyone else but you, regardless of price. And at LeapZone, the ultimate outcome of our team at LeapZone is to help you get your business architecture, your brand differentiation, and your helpfulness marketing in place so that you can thrive through covid and beyond COVID, of course, because there will be life beyond COVID. In fact, I believe it's going to be better life beyond COVID. And of course, by helping you create the amount of income, impact, and inspiration that you want in the world, and most of all, help you become a master at continuously be able to position yourself as the number one choice, right? Your brand as the number one choice, both online and offline, so that your ideal clients are compelled to choose you over anyone else. And that's what I wanted to share with, uh, with everybody today. And I'm, if there's any other questions, uh, Roger, of course, I'm happy to answer. I would also love to hear gems and insights 
that you've gained through our time together today. You can write those in the chat box. But Roger, any questions, any yep, insights? There's a, there's a question from Chris. How should I deal with potential, in inverted commas, potential clients who seem to keep asking for free help with technical questions and issues? Yes. So there will always be people who are never going to buy. Right? There's always going to be people who that's all they want is they want free content and free help. Now, let me tell you that clients or prospect prospect clients in this case, anyone in, in this case, anyone will do what they think they can get away with. So build yourself a, a, an on-demand coaching session or, you know, simple ways to actually solicit your service and your and your genius. And when people ask just actually go here. Here's my free content. Send them to your free content. And if they want more and they have a more in-depth question, just say, here's a link to book yourself a coaching session with me. I'll happily help you. So again, it's about having at the tip of your fingers and at the tip of your tongue, an intelligent way of saying, Hey, I can help you with this. Here's how, here's your next step. Your next step is to go book yourself a session or get on a needs assessment call with me to assess your needs so I can properly um, give you a proposal or an offer to actually help you further. So it's good to give a lot of things for free, but those things don't, they don't involve your time on a regular basis. You know, my 72 Leap, my 70 Leap TV episodes, they were, they took time to create, but now they're leveraged for me. I send people to them, they learn from them and I have nothing to do. If they want more than that, then they need to fill out a needs assessment. They need to get on a clarity call and we need to establish what is the best course of action, which of course will include an exchange of money for an exchange of genius. Does that make sense? Uh, so um, uh, I'm asking a question based upon one of the posts that Marnie has done. Okay. Marnie, uh, spends a lot of time in November and December making gifts for her clients. And uh, my sense without hearing this explicitly from Marnie is that there's not an awful lot of reciprocation or appreciation from the client's point of view. Your, your, your thought. So my thought is the key is for you, Marty, to be in front, top of mind all the time. The key to this whole presentation, right, and to be helpful is to be top of mind. The person that's the most top of mind will win when the problem at the other end is big enough. Now, this is a, this is a bit of a different question because you're like, hey, I'm giving, I'm appreciating my clients. I'm gifting in November and December, and I feel like I don't have a lot of reciprocity, uh, reciprocity, I guess the word is. But ultimately, it's about you giving and you being top of mind. Now, you might want to ask yourself, you know, is what you're giving a value? Is this something that is actually desired? Like, gone are the days we're giving, and I'm not saying this is what you're doing, but gone are the days, like, I receive still calendars, paper calendars. I'm like, come on. I mean, we live in the digital world here. I don't want a paper calendar. I don't need a paper calendar. So it all depends. I'd have to dig a little deeper around what is the, the gifts and the free gifts, but it's got to be relevant. It's got to be valuable. And you have to do it in a way that there's no elastic to it. And of course, Marty, it's, it's way better when we're appreciated for what we do. And, um, but again, there are ways, there are ways to do things where you just have to say, I am, this is the price for being top of mind. I remember Roger, there was a client of ours that took seven years to become a client. Seven years it took them from watching my Leap TV episodes, reading my emails and my blog posts. And at some point I asked when they finally moved forward, you know, I asked, what made you choose me? And they said, you were top of mind. You educated me every month for many years. You're the only one I trust, right? So all of what we do to be helpful eventually builds trust. Now, we also have to make sure that we're targeting the right people, right? If I'm selling a thousand dollar bottle of water to 
small business owners that make $50,000 or less a year, no matter how helpful and no matter how I describe this amazing water bottle, it'll never sell. I need to make sure that I'm also bringing value to the right people. So it's a, it's a, it's a good mix of a few things here. Question from Nancy. Uh, I am totally stoked with your philosophy of doing business today. How long would it take if I became a leap zone junkie and focused on your workshops before I would see results? Well, you know, by implementing a few things, you would see results right away um, for certain things. Certain things like, you know, if there's a bleeding artery in your business and you decide to implement a Facebook campaign, for example, that, you know, there, there are actions that need to be taken that are in direct correlation with the problem at hand or the, the opportunity at hand. What I see is a lot of people having an immediate need and choosing an action that delivers uh, results six months from now, just by design of this strategy, right? So um, there's things that we teach that are immediate. So for example, our Build to Rock program, uh, which this would probably be the best thing for you because it's not only becoming a junkie of, of Leap Zone, but it's having a coach in a very simple and affordable way to actually walk you through this. But I mean, within the get ready module, which is before module one, you would already start seeing results, uh, assuming you implement, of course. A follow-up question from Chris. What if a potential client would ask for help with the problem in the free call? So uh, let me see if I understand this. Are you saying they're asking for help on the free call and uh, they're asking for help to resolve the problem on a free call? Is that what I'm hearing? Okay. So a free call isn't about giving all the answers. A free call is about establishing where there is the biggest need. So you need to be giving, you, be, you need to be able to give an inch or an incomplete equation um, to ensure that you don't sell the farm, give the farm away with the truck, right? So a clarity call is not to answer all the problems. And, and if there's a particular problems, you would say, these are precisely the problems that we solve in working together. Now let's establish what other bleeding arteries are there in your business so that I can actually put a, a decent offer or a decent proposal for you. But again, people will, will try, they will get away, they'll try to get away with, what's, what, what's the word I said, I said it best earlier. People will do what they think they can get away with. So they will of course ask, and if you give, 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 then they will get, 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 and then they'll never have an opportunity to thank you or, or give you money for your genius. So this is called literally having respect for your genius and for your craft. And to be very clear that you're not there to solve all their problems on this call. You're there to investigate which problems are most potent for you to help solve post clarity call, post free call. Thank you, Isabel. No further questions. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm happy. And you know what? Truly, it's about boundaries because for every one of us here, we most likely sell a service, which means that we sell our genius, we sell our time, and we need to be, if we can't respect our genius and our time, then of course, we can't expect anybody else to, to respect it. So it's about boundaries. It's about being able to say no, and it's about asking a ton of intelligent questions to determine where the need is so that you can actually turn a prospect into a client. And of course, it's about being helpful and, um, and kick some butt. And I, I literally, I look forward to reading some of your needs assessment. I hope that you will take advantage of, um, of, of the opportunity of continuing this conversation with one of us. Isabel, you have not disappointed. You have shared with us uh, absolutely original uh, thoughts, perspectives, way of doing things. On behalf of VBN, I thank you very, very much. 
You're very I'm welcome. Going, I'm going to stop the recording now, uh, but uh, um, uh, live audience, uh, do not go away. <laughs>